you know, the global banks in the world, they've invested something like seven trillion dollars funding fossil fuel development. For every gallon of gas oil that is refined into gasoline, you have to use five kilowatts of electricity. But then you've got all of the brakes and heat and exhaust and things. So but everything's said and done, only about 10% of that energy that you just invested in actually does work. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here in studio with founder and editor Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Oh, going fine. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, let's start out with talking about we get more useful energy out of renewables than fossil fuels. Yeah, this is really fascinating. I came across this one and posted it actually yesterday and we'll talk about it today. But but basically, the, there is a term which I learned a long time ago when I started exploring this whole concept of peak oil, if you remember that, which was big early on when I started getting into EV world because we thought the world was going to, you know, hit a, hit the... Max amount of oil it could produce in like by 2010 or some number like that. Um, and I learned this term, uh, uh, E-R-O-I, which is energy returned on investment. Yeah. The reason the Saudis could dominate the way they could because they could pull, you know, a barrel of oil out of the ground for, I think at that particular point in time, it was like $10 a barrel where everybody else was having to spend 20 30 40 50 dollars a barrel to get to get their uh, their crude out of the ground and so the theory was is that you could have the amount of money that you put into investing into getting that oil you got a huge return out of that so it was it was worth the investment in fact i was just reading that uh, you know the global banks in the world that you know look that provide investment capital they they invest like since 2016 they've invested something like 7 trillion dollars funding fossil fuel development seven trillion dollars and that doesn't include the uh, trillions of dollars that governments give oil companies and fossil fuel companies uh in in the form of tax credits and subsidies and things so but what the, what this report did is they said well let's look at this differently yes you can pull that out of the ground for 10 15 20 whatever it is you know depending on where you are uh, out of the ground but then what happens to it well, it's got to go through this complex system of transport, refineries, refining. You probably don't realize this, but for every gallon of gas oil that is refined into gasoline, you have to use five kilowatts of electricity. So you've got that. Then you've got to figure out how to distribute it out to the retail market and things. So you're saying to refine one gallon of gas, you have to use five kilowatts of electricity? Five kilowatts of electricity to refine one gallon of gasoline, yeah. Which takes five pounds of coal to uh, power that electricity. Yeah, or wherever your source of electricity is coming from. Right? So by the time you get to all this and you actually get work done by that gallon of gasoline, right? It's totally moving you, you know, it's a 20% efficiency but then you've got all of the brakes and heat and exhaust and things. So but everything's said and done, only about 10% of that energy that you just invested in actually does work for you. Okay? On the other hand, if you look at renewables, the wind, that renewable energy, yes, it costs more up front to create that. But the payback is a lot shorter. And the useful energy that you get from that in terms of Sunlight falls on it. It you know kicks off those electrons. They get fed into the grid. That then goes to either what heat pumps or hot water heaters or electric cars or television scooters. All that. So the amount of work that you're getting for the energy that's being generated is much better than what you get from from using any fossil fuel for that matter. So it's it's a long read, but it's certainly an informative read. It's, it's weird to think about five kilowatts of electricity being used because you think about that in an EV, that would be about 20 miles of range just from that slice of the production. And your dog agrees with us on that. <laughs> Seems to. Or is he arguing? <laughs> and what's interesting is, is there was an article came out there just a couple of days ago where they were saying that Plugging in electric cars has used more electricity than, and it was some, you know, the country of India or some, 
Right, right. Well, yeah, it was Uganda. All of the electric cars in the United States now use as much electricity as the entire nation of Uganda. Right. But my point is, is that they weren't counting the kilowatts it takes to make that gallon of gasoline. Now, what if you threw that number in? I tried to find some some number to come up with the share. I couldn't, you know, my mathematics level isn't at the level I can figure out how many... But I think what the U.S. the U.S. burns something like 139 billion or 137 billion gallons of gasoline a year. Amer- all American drivers now multiply that number by five kilowatts. And how many and how many megawatts does that you know? All right. Sure, it dwarfs. Yeah. Oh, I get it. You know, they talk about overtaxing the grid. I- I'm going to tell you though, Bill. The, the people that run oil refineries are not dummies. They are, you know, they're all incredibly bright, incredibly educated, all that. And I'm sure they're probably using gas flare-offs, methane, all kinds of other things to burn that are byproducts of the gasoline. So it's probably not costing them anything to make the, those kilowatt. But it is interesting to see that they're taking some efficiency from somewhere else to make, you know, to try to fix some of this inefficiency in this other area. Yep. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.